Okay, how to make a tile floor. I will now go get, not a cube, I meant to get this. We'll scale it out to, let's say here. Um, I'm gonna raise it up, right click, assign new material, Arnold. AI standard surface, color, file. Click on this, downloads. Uh, get this texture, four, five, six. See how large the tile is? So now we can go to this place 2D texture node and then I'll go to repeat UV. I'm just clicking behind the number and I'm holding down control. Um, but you can also type these numbers in. So for this, if I press four real quick. All right. So we kind of see like the size of this tile. I'll press six and I'll just go six, six. Is that about right? Now let me go five, five. Ooh, look at that. It's landing right there. And that's perfect. But then we have some other tiles going through here. So what I'll do is I'll just look at this object and I'll go to this plane. And right now, if it's 10 and 10, let's see what happens if we turn it to 20 and 20. Yep, hit it right there. Okay, so this is now like aligned with our plane. I scaled up the image on this uh, seamless texture. And now we have this. So now what I can do is go to edges, select the whole thing. It's gonna be a little tiny bit tedious, but it's worth it, right? Select the whole thing. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna try this two different ways, right? Control D and I'll hide one. I'll hide this one. So this one, I'm gonna try like this. I'm gonna go to faces, select them all, do a control E for extrude. Ooh. I'll bring these up just a little tiny bit and I'll go to keep faces together off. And then I'll go to this offset. So right now it's at 0 0.01. Uh, what if I did point zero zero one a point zero five and uh, zero zero nine. Okay, go to thickness. Let's say we can drag this down. Then if I put on like two divisions. So if I have this, and then if I go to Arnold, light, sky dome, put in HDRI, Uh, I don't know what this one is. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I want to live there. I always wonder where these are at sometimes. It's literally the goal. Sorry, caught up in that. Uh, let me do a play blast. I mean, not play blast, uh, Arnold render view, render preview. Ooh. It's definitely in there looking kind of crazy. So I'll select it Then I'll go over here and I'll go to, um, uh, 
roughness. Now I'm just selecting my dome light and I'll rotate it. If I go to, I can do it two ways. I can just press E and rotate it here. And depending on the angle of the light, this will give us a different look. But this is how it turns out. We can see the the indentions in it. And I'll go here and I'll go to exposure. And this is weird, you know, because you can go backwards, but taking it back a little bit, you know, and not having it so strong can help you. So that's one way to do it. And then the other way, what I was going to do is this H. And this is the way I had to do mine. So what you do is you got to select all the edges. Um, you do a shift right click, you go to bevel edge, fraction, make it tight like that. And then you got to go to segment and give it that extra segment. You press Q to quit. And then you got to go select the middle edge from all of these. So I'm holding down shift. Uh, and double tapping to get the whole edge. So I have to do this on one side to get all of these. And then I have to get the other one. With the one that I made because uh, I'm using like some real high resolution textures. Uh, so mine was a little different. Actually, like the way I did like this right here, where it's two segments, the one I just showed you was an extra segment. So I had to deal with one and then there were two other like edges on the side of those. So I select all those and then I got to go to do the same thing over here. So just holding down shift and moving over. So, and you're probably like, oh yeah, that other way is a lot easier. But this way, in my opinion, gives you a better look, a better result. I'm almost done. Yeah, so you got to find that middle edge like, what was it, 20 times, 40 times? I don't know. Get this, zoom in here now. And now you pull this down. So now you have this tile with this like corner here which is a little bit different. Now, if I had done it with an extra bevel, like I did on the project I did, it would have like another edge here and it would just have like more of a roll off, but this should still work. Um, so now we have this and let's bring up, this is our render view from the old one. I'll make a snapshot and then we'll do this new one. Should have set up a camera. So I'll snapshot this.
Yeah, so that's uh, the first way, and here's the second way. But as you can see, it's giving us a nice result. All right, I'm about to send out the next video. Um,